God, I ask you to free us, to give you the worship you deserve. It's about you, God, not about us. As we begin our new year this morning, we're going to begin with a responsive reading, and it's from Psalm number 148. The whole focus of today's worship is to help us help each other become passionate followers of Christ. So some Psalms 148, please respond as I lead us through. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise him, all ye angels. Praise him and all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye shining stars. Praise him, highest heavens and waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. And he established them forever and ever. He gave the decree and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord, all the earth, you great sea creatures, and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind, fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts and all livestock, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and maidens together. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. And all to the Lord.
Lord, the people praise you. Lord, the people praise you. Lift you up and raise you. Lift you up and raise you. You are the Holy One. You are the Holy One. You're the one, you're the only one. You're the one, you're the only one. Lord, the people love you. Lord, the people love you. Place their body above you. Please join me in prayer. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for the privilege of worship today that we're enjoying. Thank you for the honor of gathering here with my brothers and sisters to respond to every great thing you have given us through Christ. God, I ask you to free us to give you the worship you deserve. It's about you, God, not about us. Please, Father, drive that home like never before. I ask you to grant us a fresh and full gaze of your grace and mercy that you have lavished on us through the gospel. May we be in your word, God. May we offer you a sacrifice of praise and everything we have and are reflect you and what we do. 
Father, may we feel the Holy Spirit present with us today. Please, God, free us to glorify your name. As we sing praises and offer prayer and share your word, may we recognize that everything is accomplished through you. Please, God. May we worship you today in a way that brings a sweet aroma to you and a transforming power in all of us. Send us forth with your blessings this week and through the remainder of this year so that we can do one thing, and that is to glorify you, God. So it is in Jesus' name that we lift up this prayer. And the whole church said, Amen. Amen. Church, would you stand with me <clears throat> for the reading of God's word? The law of the Lord of the Lord is perfect. It the, soul. the decrees of the Lord are steadfast. They give wisdom to the, simple. the precepts of the Lord are right. They the, heart. the command of the Lord is clear. He gives light to the, eyes. the fear of the Lord is pure, abiding love. May the spoken words of my mouth, the thoughts of my heart, win favor in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. More about Jesus would I know, more of his grace to others show, more of his saving fullness see, more of his love who died. Please join me in prayer. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Your name is glorious, and you are worthy of all praise. Our Father, we are a sinful people, and we are not worthy of the love and blessings you have given us. Without your grace, we deserve nothing. Even less than nothing, we deserve punishment. We are incapable of true obedience. You know all of our sins and faults. Our failures are very clear to you. Yet you have graciously given us laws, rules, and examples to follow. As we just said, your laws are perfect, and you are completely faithful in all your promises to us. You never fail. We need your mercy and grace because we are not perfect like you. We needed a savior, Lord, because we cannot atone for our own sins. We cannot avoid certain spiritual death on our own. O oh Lord, through your great love, you have given us a Savior, Jesus, the Messiah, to take our place in punishment by willingly giving himself on the cross. O oh Lord, we live because you have allowed us to live and chosen to love us in spite of our sinfulness. Greater love doesn't exist. O oh Lord, Help us in our daily struggles. Help us to delight in your teachings. Help us to actively seek to tell others about the only hope we have in this world, 
our Savior, Jesus. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And in your name we pray. Amen. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure that he should give his only Son to Can we please stand? For I receive from the Lord what I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. In the same way, also, he took the cup 
after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and blood of the Lord. Please be seated. And please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we come before you now remembering your son, Jesus Christ, and we want to thank you so much for him and for the life he lived and the example he set. At this time, we pray that we will put the things of this world out of our mind and concentrate on his life and his death, burial, and resurrection. It's these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we want to concentrate now on the blood that Jesus shed and the horrible death that he endured for us. For the members here of North Tampa Church, we pray that you will bless this church. May we live a life for you, live a life that you will be proud of. Be, try to be examples, but be your disciples and examples of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us concentrate at this time on the unbelievable sacrifice that he made and now how we have a hope of eternal life through your Son. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we just want to come before you now and just thank you for our many, 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 many blessings. We have been so blessed by you. This church has been so blessed by you. We pray that you will continue to be with the members of this church and lead us and guide us. Thank you so much for the safety that we have received. Many people have been out of town recently and they've come back to us safely. We pray for those that are still out of town and May you just wrap your loving arms around them and bring them home safely. May we all always be looking to you and thanking you, thanking you over and over again for the many, many blessings that you have blessed us with. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please join me in reading Psalm. <clears throat> 99. The Lord reigns. He sits enthroned between the cherubim. Great is the Lord in Zion. Let them praise your great and awesome name. The king is mighty. He loves justice. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his, at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his statutes and the priests gave them. Lord our God, you answered them. You were to Israel a forgiving God. Sweetly, Lord, have we heard thee calling, come, follow.
glorious and magnificent God, we come before you thanking you for all of the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for this opportunity we have to gather here to encourage one another, to motivate one another, and to hear your word proclaimed and to study your word. But Father, we know that in Matthew, you told us to go out into the world and to teach everyone the things that we have been commanded to do and to baptize them. Father, we pray that as we depart this place later, that our lives will be such an example to the rest of the world that they will want to know more and that we will be able to fulfill this command. Father, we pray now that you'll be with us as we continue this service. We ask all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Well, now that you sat down, please stand up for the reading of God's <laughs> Word. We will be reading uh, Psalm 66, uh, verses 1 through 4, as we turn our minds towards the fourth pillar, which is evangelizing our community and foreign ones. Sing a new song to the Lord. Let the Lord sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord. Praise His name. He saved Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things he does. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. Seeking the lost, yes, kindly entreating, wanderers on the mountain of strength. Come unto
saving grace. Make it known in every place. Bring it on. Bring it on. Tell the needy ones to know him from whom all blessings flow. Bring it on. Most wonderful Heavenly Father, we love you so much and we are so indebted to you for sending your Son and for providing a way back to you to be people who can call you our Father, who can claim your name and your Son's name. We know as he left us here on this earth that he told us to go to all the world preaching the gospel. We just ask that as this new year starts that we recommit to evangelizing the world around us as well as the world far away that we spend our time and our efforts and our, the things that we do showing others the love we have for one another for we are known as Christians by the love we show one for another. Help us to just focus on evangelizing and reaching out to our community and to loving one another and to being different than the world, not trying to blend into the world, but trying to be more like your son and more like the many of those that you sent in the New Testament and the Old that didn't blend into the world and didn't have wonderful times, but did the right things in a loving way that showed ultimately the love that is yours that we should show we just are thankful again for this day that we can worship you that we can concentrate on remembering who we are uh, as people of God and we ask that you are happy with as we continue to praise you in this worship service in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. please stand with me if you're able Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness, come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good. And his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Please be seated. Each day I'll do.
Dear Heavenly Father, we come into your midst this morning and we declare that you are holy, holy, holy. We can't begin to imagine your holiness, Father, and your, your radiance, and we look forward, Father, to the day that um, this worship will be face to face with you, experiencing all the beauty and grandeur uh, of you uh, and soaking it in. Father, we're so thankful that you have given us this avenue of prayer, that you have given us your son uh, to die on the cross and the grace that, that flows down upon us, to have the hope and the promise of being with you in heaven someday and to have life more abundantly here on this earth. We're so thankful, Father, for your guidance and your compassion and your love, um, your, your comfort that you gave us throughout 2022 as trials and tribulations came into our life, but we knew that you were there no matter what happened to us, Father. And as we head into 2023, Father, we pray that you'd continue to be with us, that you'd give us a renewed spirit, Father, to grow closer to you, that to be more like you each and every day, that you'd help us, Father, to have compassion and love for our brothers and sisters, to reach out for them in their time of need and to grow closer to them. And most of all, Father, that you would give us the, the will and the desire to be your hands and feet in this earth, to reach out to the community around us, to touch lost souls. And most of all, Father, we, we ask that you would uh, allow us and help us to be peculiar and that you'd help us to abound with joy so that as we come into contact with those throughout our daily walk, that they would notice that there is something different about us and they would want that as well. Again, we are so thankful, Father, for your love that you shower down upon us. We're so thankful, Father, for just being able to be in your midst and um, for all that you've done for us. Again, uh, as we go to you in prayer, Father, we lift this up in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> There is much to do, there's work on every hand. Hark the cry for help comes ringing through the land. Jesus calls for reapers, I must act to be. What will thou, O Master, hear and answer me? Hear and answer and as we pray together. We'll be praying uh, from the scriptures what's known as the Lord's Prayer. So if you'll follow along, uh, Matthew 6, 9 through 13. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> 